Hey everybody, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is D'Lo and I've got another video for you guys. Today we're gonna be fan casting Rogue from the X-Men. We're gonna be doing MCU X-Men fan casting for Anna Marie. Uh, last name is unknown to all comic book readers. And uh, she is Rogue and she is the one that everybody has been waiting for and wanting a more accurate, comic book accurate character representation. But I'll get into talking about that in just one second. So let's just preface by saying, first of all, the MCU is going to be doing the X-Men in the next five years or so, three to five years probably. We want a better Rogue than we've gotten before. Now I will say Anna Paquin, I think that's how you say her name or Paquin or I don't know how you pronounce it but she did a pretty good job with what she was given. They did not write her a good rogue and unfortunately she suffered from that. Now, if you guys got a chance to watch X-Men Days of Future Past, there was a rogue cut of that where they added a few additional scenes. And in those scenes, she did a good job. And it was just, you know, not a lot of lines, but it added a little something special for the fans who've been watching the X-Men movies for years and years and years. Now, the problem with the X-Men universe is that they gave us Rogue with only her basic natural power, and they didn't give us the Rogue we've all come to know and love through the X-Men 90s TV series. If we want Rogue to be a character that the fans are going to appreciate, it needs to be the Rogue that we have all grown to love over the years. And the Rogue that we love has super strength, has near invulnerability, has flight, has all these things which were gained through overexposure and over contact with Captain Marvel putting her into a coma, Carol Danvers. What I want and what I think a lot of people want is that rogue and that rogue to be probably a little bit more mature it doesn't have to be super old or anything but probably somewhere between 25 and 35 would probably be a good age for rogue so that she could also have a 25 to 35 year old gambit to interact with because rogue is a little bit more of a sexual symbol to the x-men even though there isn't any contact that really happens because she can't she'll kill whoever she contacts but there's supposed to be that allure with rogue so i think that whoever's going to play rogue must be attractive and she also has to have that kind of romantic ability as an actress to be able to create that sense of sexual tension with Gambit so that us the fans can get engaged with her and root for her to be in a relationship with someone even though they can't have contact we need to be able to feel that and want that for the character so these this is going to be a short video a short list of the actresses that I've picked let's not waste any more time all right first up we have Minka Kelly who is 38 years old and five foot five she's one of the best actresses on television and if you've seen her in Friday Night Lights you already know the angle that I'm coming at here she totally plays the love interest or the lover who's in that love triangle and she wants to be in a relationship with Taylor Kitsch for instance who played Gambit in X-Men Origins Wolverine she has that ability to convey that like I want to be in a relationship with you but I totally can't and that's something that's very important for whoever's gonna be playing Rogue because that's half her story so with her I think Minka Kelly looks the part I think she definitely has the ability to play a southern actress or have that southern accent maybe Mississippi Tennessee Texas that kind of thing uh, I know those are different inflections, but she has that ability because that's not her natural accent in speaking anyway. So she has that ability to learn. A little bit older, but she doesn't look very old. She's engaged with Titans right now on the DC streaming service. So it's unlikely that she'll be able to just hop over to Marvel since she's currently in an ongoing role with Titans in the DC streaming service. But nevertheless, I choose her because it's totally possible she could be in both. So let's go ahead and take a look. No fan art I was able to find, unfortunately. I haven't scoured the infinite realms of the internet, but just on a quick search, I wasn't able to find anything. And so I just pulled up a picture of her with some highlights. Imagine that she has streaks in the front of white and she's wearing a green shirt with a light brown jacket. I think that would be really cool. She has the look, she has the style, and I think she'd be able to pull it off. So that's all I'll say about her. I'll let you guys make your decisions down below. So next up, we have Adrienne Palicki, who was also from Friday Night Lights, 35 years old and five foot 11, similar age, a little bit taller. And I think she definitely has the look I would be going for for Rogue. Now, yes, she's already technically in the MCU with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but it's downstream. Like I've mentioned before, the TV shows for Marvel are below the movies. Movies are up here and all the storylines that are created are way up here 
and then anything that happens like the Avengers, the like the New York City attack on the Avengers, it shoots downstream and the TV shows can play with those ideas, but the TV shows can't create anything that travels back upstream to the movies other than like one or two references to Agent Coulson nothing goes upstream so technically it's not really in the mcu and marvel studios is launching a tv studio for the movies control so anything that the movies want to do with the mcu and disney plus they're creating their own studio so they can do everything they want tv wise in the mcu under their control so they don't have to share any storylines or try to merge arcs or anything I would hope that the actors that are used there would not go to waste. I hope that they would be able to transfer some of those guys and reintroduce um, actors into the MCU this way. So, Adrian Palicki, 35 years old, 5'11", I think is a great choice. Again, one of my favorite TV actresses of all time. And here's an image of her um, with uh, one of the guys from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. just kind of like longing after her. In the show, they play uh, ex-husband, ex-wife. So they have like a love interest that they kind of uh, tease and poke back at, but she always plays like that lover that is and is not in a relationship with somebody. It's off and on, it's complicated, and that's what you need for whoever's gonna play Rogue. I think she looks a great deal like the part. Just brunette the back and then just leave this white here. I think that's a great image there. I think she looks the part. So you guys let me know what you guys think about Adrienne Palicki as Rogue. So let's go to the next one. Next up, Alexandra Daddario, 33 years of age, five foot eight. So she was alongside Zac Efron in Baywatch. She was in True Detective and San Andreas, Texas Chainsaw 3D. She is a fan favorite. There actually was some art for her and side-by-side -side comparisons to show off how much she does actually already look like Rogue from the X-Men. So there was a few of these images. This is a side-by-side -side comparison. You can see the facial structure looks very, very similar. Hair color is almost already perfect. You just gotta get the streaks in the front. She looks a great deal like her. I think all you need to do is get green eye contacts or just CGI her eyes green. And that would basically be the only thing you need to do. Here's a great piece of art of her in the costume. I think that looks awesome. White streak here, yellow gloves. That looks great to me. I really do want a classic costume. I know people are like, oh, you can't have them in the colored costumes. You're wrong. I believe that if you do Spider-Man's costume legit, people go to the movies to see it. If you do Batman's costume legit, people go to the movies to see it. If you do Superman's costume legit, people go to the movies to see it. If you do The Flash, if you do Aquaman, if you do those things, fans go nuts. There's no difference with the X-Men. Brian Singer was wrong, well, in my opinion, was wrong, for doing the black costumes and just trying to make it like normal. That sucks the fun out of the difference in the X-Men. I mean, it's like, yeah, what, they all have uniforms? It's like, let them have their colors. Let them have their costumes. To me, I want to see the costumes. I want to see classic. I want to see it look legit. So that's why. So anyway, uh, some great fan casting images and side-by-side -side comparisons, but that's pretty much it. So Alexander Daddario, I think, is great. I think she's got the right acting chops. She's got the right personality, and I think that she would be able to pull off the role for sure. So... That's my take. Next up, Mandy Moore, who's 35 years old. She is five foot nine, and she is known for This Is Us, A Walk to Remember, Tangled, Princess Diaries, Grey's Anatomy. She's been in a lot of things. Not a lot of fan art, but this is kind of a blurry image, so I'm sorry for that, but that kind of almost lends itself to this image. This image is titled Rogue, and it's got her in like this yellow country kind of shirt. She looks like a Southern Belle here. I think that she does look the part, and she could play a Southern gal very well. She's no stranger to romantic films or chick flicks, that kind of stuff. She would be able to pull on your heartstrings really, really well. So let me know what you guys think about Mandy Moore as Rogue down below. Next up, we've got Lauren Cohan, 37 years old, five foot seven from The Walking Dead, Whiskey Cavaliers, Supernatural, The Vampire Diaries, Mile 22, a lot of things. She is British American. I believe it was her mom was from Glasgow or something. And then I think her father was from New Jersey or something like that. She is amazing with accents. If you just type in Lauren Cohan accent, you'll find a plethora of videos where she shows off her ability to just adapt to any accent. And that's gonna be really helpful. She has the look and with her being able to pull off a Southern accent like we see her do in The Walking Dead, I think that she would be great for Rogue. So here's an image of her, just put the blonde streak. Just try to envision it. There's not a lot of fan art out there for uh, for rogue castings, unfortunately. Hopefully there will be soon. Perhaps I'll have to do my own and I will have some images for you at the end of this video. But Lauren Cohan, I think would be a really great choice and it would be really cool to see because I personally would want Rogue and Gambit to be one of the older characters for the X-Men. 
I know I'll, there's some that I want to be younger, like I would say Nightcrawler, Shadowcat, Jubilee, but for Gambit and Rogue, I think they should be a little bit more mature because they could have a little bit more of a mature relationship or a mature oriented relationship. Um, so that would be nice. So anyway, let's go check out the next one. Next one is Willa Holland, 27 years old and five foot five. She's known from Arrow. She's in Legion, The OC, Straw Dogs, and Tiger Eyes. Um, most people know her from Arrow, where she plays Thea Queen. She plays the sister of Oliver Queen. And she does a really good job there. She has this weird kind of like, I'm kind of talking like I'm talking through my teeth and I like have this weird, like she has this weird kind of like raspy, um, almost whispery voice when she's on the CW. But that raspiness, if you apply a Southern accent, would sound a lot like the 90s rogue. Come in. Was there the most beautiful woman in town alone on a Saturday night? <sighs> I was reading about love and adventure, Gambit. What more could a gal want? <laughs> the real thing, Shell. Gambit at your service. <sighs> Even crazy swamp rats need a gal they can touch. And that was one of the things that I thought of when I was watching Arrow and I saw her acting. I was like, huh, she has the ability to play the role and I would like to see her get that opportunity. Here's a nice picture of her. Um, again, with as for all of these actresses, imagine the blonde streak. There's no way you do Rogue without the blonde, or the, I'm sorry, not blonde, but the white streak of hair. Um, that would be really important. But I think she's a good actress and I would like to see her get that role. So not much more else to say here. Let's keep moving. All right, Lily James. We have 30 years old, five foot seven. You guys know her as Cinderella. She's also in Baby Driver and Downton Abbey. Uh, also, Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again. She's a fan favorite. I've seen a lot of people that have requested her for the role. If you guys have seen the fan casting summit, she got a lot of attention for my X-Men fan casting part two. I think she has the look and she has the hair. Uh, talented actress, she should be able to play it. She'd be a little bit younger of a rogue. Not so much, not so mature as some of the other picks like Lauren Cohan, but um, I think she could pull it off for sure. I would like to see her get the role if you're gonna go with a slightly younger rogue. So next, let's keep moving. Daisy Ridley from Star Wars The Force Awakens, Star Wars The Last Jedi, and Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. She's 27 years old, five foot seven, and I think that she has a very good look. She's a very talented actress. I don't care if you don't like Rey. Rey's not my favorite character. I like her, I think she's okay. I did not like The Last Jedi at all, but I do think that Daisy Ridley is a great actress. I haven't seen her in much else other than the Star Wars franchise, which is where I first saw her, and then also Murder on the Orient Express, but I think she does look like she could play the role. Very pretty, and I think that she has the right hair for this. Let me know if you guys think that you would like to see Daisy Ridley play Rogue in the MCU. You guys should let me know what you guys think about Daisy Ridley in the comments down below. Let's keep moving. All right, next up we have Ashley Green. Ashley Green, you guys know her from Twilight, from the Twilight Saga. Staten Island Summer, LOL, The Apparition. She's 32 years old, five foot five. And I wanted to show you guys, there is actually some fan art for her here. So let's take a look. People have been doing fan art of her as Rogue. You can see they did the silver hair. This is obviously Ashley Green with the image photoshopped over Anna Paquin's Rogue from X-Men Days of Future Past, which would be this image here. And they just changed it just like that. So there's some really good art here though, Rogue. This is her as Rogue again. Her as Rogue. That's her in Bad Blood. This is one. This is an interesting one. Her as Domino. That's actually a pretty cool idea. But I really like her for Rogue. So even though this one's really dark, uh, they made the skin really dark in tone. This one's really nice. You guys can kind of get a visual of what she might look like in the role. And I have my own fan art, which I'll show you guys at the end of this video. So anyways, let's keep moving. All right. I wanted to show you guys some MCU Rogue fan art that I did for the X-Men MCU Fan Casting Summit number two, which was the last summit that we just did. So if you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. But we're, I'm gonna show you guys some art that I did for Anna Marie Rogue, and you guys are gonna see that right now as I pull that up. So here we have, on the left, Adrienne Palicki, who is in Friday Night Lights. She's also in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I just did 
this is some quick art guys it took me not a lot of time to just get this done as you can tell not the best in the world but it's just there to give you guys a little bit of a visual representation of what we could be getting so if you look at the image on the top where we have rogue the actual the cartoon rogue on the top and then you look at the faces on the bottom maybe it gives you a little bit of a contrast and i think ashley green is also a very very great choice from twilight i think she would do a really really fine job playing the role. Looks and acting, I think Ashley Green would do just fine. Let me know what you guys think about these art pieces and which actress you like the most to play Rogue in the MCU. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And please turn on notifications so you can be alerted right away when I go live next time. That way you guys won't miss a thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend, and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.